Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, since I've done an unboxing, but because I'm going to be honest. So these uh, Mercurial Superflies, when they dropped, for some reason, Nike did not let me use my discount right away. Um, so as you know, it's hard for me to pay full price for something. And I know they were going to drop. These just happen to take a little bit longer, probably about over a week or maybe two weeks, something like that. I don't know why, I don't understand. They've been doing that with a lot of their drops recently, some of their more um, popular drops or the ones that they think are gonna be popular because these aren't selling out. Um, so I had to keep my eye out every day. I was checking every day, every day, every day. Finally, at a random time, I don't remember exactly, they dropped um, to a discount price. So I bought them and then I happened to go on vacation so I haven't been able to do the video so I'm just gonna do the unboxing right now get my first look at them um, see them in hand and see what I let you guys know what I think not gonna be a huge review be only because I've already done review on the Mercurio uh, Superfly 7 and this is basically the same thing it's just a different color um, it's the dream speed in case you're wondering or didn't read the title of the video um, so let's go the knife there get them out of the box look at look at nike i don't understand they keep putting stuff in these huge boxes when they don't even need it but i don't know waste of cardboard but i recycle them so it's okay put that there so we're gonna look we got a superfly 7 elite um it's a dream speed in the um FG color and lemon, lemon venom black aurora green. See right there. I don't know what lemon venom is, but it sounds like a great color. I'm all for it. Um, so yeah, let's open them up. See what they look like. All right, there they are. You know, there's something about unboxing a new shoe, a different colorway that it gets me every single time. No matter how close it could resemble another shoe, I guess I should take it out. Um, but man, I, I, I love it. I love it a lot. And I'm truly fascinated with shoes, whether they're soccer shoes, basketball shoes, anything. Uh, it's, it's a defect of mine. Um, but I do want to talk about something else. So if you notice this, okay, I'll talk about the colors first, but basically this is supposed to supposed to resemble the spectrum speed of light some if you look up the colorways it's supposedly it looks something like this um it's gonna make you faster <laughs> these are gonna make you faster there's it's a proven fact uh, no i'm just kidding um i love the colors i love the colorway i love this bright yellow that it has um i love this blue how it you know fades and then goes into red i love all that um, and then it says it has right there then the, um, that number right there is basically the speed of light, I guess, in numbers, which is 299.792.45 milliseconds. So I don't know if that's how fast, if you turn on the light, that's how fast it travels. But that's how fast it travels. Um, but aside from the colors aside from the shoe itself i've always recommended not getting the superfly but in this case uh this is the shoe that is worn by mbappe uh sam kerr the wimp the play, who plays for australia or the women's league um and then you have cristiano ronaldo um normally i will say just to get the vapor but no one wears the vapor so this is what confuses me um I would be fine if you just push this colorway as a superfly. Leave it at that, Nike. You know, but then you make a vapor, and it's not necessarily going to sell because why? You're not pushing that on nobody's feet. No one's wearing that. If they are wearing it, it's going to be this one, and you only have certain players wearing this. Three players. No one else can wear it. Um, so, like what I was saying, they should if they want sales to be good. They should just make the colorway for Superfly, make the colorway for a Vapor, and maybe they will sell. But then you have, you're you letting people choose. The price difference might make people want to just buy 
uh, the vapor and not the superfly. Now, if we look at this boot like this, if you're looking at it this way, it's not much different from a vapor. Um, this collar is lower, significantly, significantly lower than what it has been in pre previous generations. If you look at the first Superflies, it was probably about up to here, I would say. Now this is getting lower and lower, almost to the point where one, it's not needed, two, it shows that it's not needed, and three, it just shows that the vapor is basically a better option for you because of how low it is. There's really no difference um, between the boots. So again, people are going to argue and probably say, and that's fine if you believe that, that there is a difference. Um, before there was, because you knew you had a fly knit um, superfly and then the vapor was the Tajan synthetic, but now they are both fly knit. Therefore, it's the same boot, same boot. I don't care what you say. Um, and then now that they're making this, I, I, I saw Ronaldo wearing it, some pictures, and I was like, is he wearing the vapor? But it was it was the Superfly. And now that I look at the Superfly now, it I don't know if the yellow is just what makes it look like that, but it really does look um, shorter. Actually, let me grab a vapor and just to compare it really quick, see how the difference is. Okay, so if this is uh, Vapor 13, I changed the laces on it, so just don't worry about that. But look at this. It's not much different. Um, if you're looking at it like this, can you tell which shoe is which? If I take this out, let me take, let me take this out really quick. Let's see. If you're looking at it like this, the only reason you can tell that this yellow one is a super flat is because it's much wider on top. But it, so basically all they add, fill in, they just fill in this little part right here now, whereas the old Superflies were actually up higher. But so this part here is just filled in all the way up to the tongue or to whatever this pull tag is. Cause look at this, this is the pull tag. The pull, they're at the same, they're at the same distance, same length. So all they do is fill in around here, this drop, which I feel eventually is gonna be non-existent. I feel like they're gonna kill off the Superfly because at this point, this is just a vapor with the added side. Maybe this will be a little bit better comparison. And I know people are gonna knock me or, or, or have a difference of opinion, but this is the height of it. This is the height here. It's about the same. And then they just basically just fill this in and widen this out it looks like this is a little bit pointer this is a little bit wider here so it's the same shoe guys same shoe i had someone try to tell me that it wasn't in another video and that's okay that's your opinion um i'm trying to save you guys money by telling you that it's they're the same shoe um i feel nike needs to do something change that in some way because People aren't going to be buying a Superfly anymore when they can just buy the Vapor. Or maybe they don't care. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe they think that having Mbappe or whoever um, wearing the latest Superfly is going to be enough. Which it could be. It could be. I know growing up as a little kid, I wanted to wear my whatever Michael Jordan was wearing or, or whatever you know athlete that I liked at the time was wearing. So maybe that's enough um, for them to uh, keep selling. I don't know how long it'll last, but because the prices keep going up and up and up, and then they keep charging. This is, this is a premium price. This colorway is a premium price from the regular, and yeah, it's it's crazy if you ask me. If I'm if I didn't have a discount, you know, I'd probably still be wearing Vapor Force. <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah, man, that that's I'm gonna end this video. This these are just my thoughts. You don't have to agree. As a matter of fact, if you don't agree, just tell me nicely why in the comments. Um, explain to me what your opinion is. Did you buy? Do you buy the Vapor or do you buy the Superfly? Do you pay the premium price for the Dream Speeds or like Neymar Signature Vapor? Um, have you done that? Um, just let me know what you guys think. Um, 
or do you do you agree with me that they should just make special colorways because i know i mean it's not enough but it's something different whereas if you could get only get this color in the vapor or you could only get this color in the superfly i feel like that might make people decide a little bit um what they would want you know but mikey keeps doing the same so i don't know but yeah so leave a comment if you're new go ahead and subscribe um we're gonna keep doing unboxings um there's nothing else we can do right so we're gonna keep unboxing we're gonna keep testing out um shoes and i'll keep giving my opinion and hopefully um in time you know i want to hear your guys' thoughts too i want to hear what you guys wear what you guys like to buy do you guys keep up with the newest models do you do you try to find steals on the older models because i mean that's if if i didn't work for nike that's what i would do i would wait for them to hit outlets because they always put them for 59.99 you know this one could come out for 300 almost and then in the outlet in like a few months it could be you could be walking to the outlet and see it for 59.99 uh and 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 the thing is, you're getting an older color. That's it. You're not getting an older shoe because it's the same model and everything. So let me know what you guys do. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd be interested to hear that. Or we can talk about anything. So if you're new, subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys for more unboxings. Till the next one. Peace.